presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling problem with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, what you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night. I'm going to take this pool wristband off that I had on all weekend. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 100, NASDAQ is off 4, SP's down 4. Gold, gold contract down 5 all 6, 90 cents, trading at 19.23 an ounce. We have silver up 23 cents, 23 dollars 34 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, look at that, up 220. 71 dollars 99 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note, down 18 ticks, trading 111.11. 11. 30 year up full point, plus 13 ticks at 125.07, and king dollar. King dollar up 326 ticks, trading 103.365. The euro is at 108. The yen is at 144. And the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Let's go into the futures first, because when I had just left, just coming back here, what you had... And I, I saw those numbers come out from the Federal Reserve. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you can check this out, folks. This is pretty cool, actually. So when the Federal Reserve was coming out, right, what, what we had is this. You know, the, the S&P, you know, right off the bat this morning, pops all the way up to the price point of 44.92. And then when we came down at that uh, 1230 level, that's a high volume low. So when the Fed came out, the Fed came out and, you know, we were traded at about the 44.88 and we came down and you came down. You had some volume there, man. You know, you get some, you get some volume down at these lows. Um, yeah, you're probably going to have a failure. We're probably going to be right back down at those lows into the close, which would be the 4.475. It's not that much. You, you can see the spread in price is a lot less than we've been used to lately, you know, because the... Uh, volatility is basically calming down, meaning that, yeah, you can go 10 points up and down in a second, but we're before we're doing like 20, 30 points in a second. And the X, and the, X, the hundreds uh, did the same thing. Oh, now here you go, man. This is a good one. Okay, there we go. So you had the first one that the downdraft there was, that was nine, 9,800 contracts. Well, now we have a high volume low in the NASDAQ. If you remember when that happened last week, and the di divergence was there, the NASDAQ actually won out and it took the S&P with it. So that's telling me that this, uh, the low of today uh, does want to get tested in the next uh, half hour. Oh, well, like before we close, that's what it looks like. Gold, gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold contract traded to 1942, you get 236,000 contracts. Now that, it didn't hold price, but that's good contract volume. I like that. That's, that's a good scene, man. Yeah, you can see that's we're going to be right back topside. And that's telling me that what we're going to see is that the dollar, the dollar has been moving around out here today. The dollar is up 328 ticks. And you can see on, I believe it was, let's see, Friday. Yeah, Friday, it gave it up in spades. It made it to 103, 543, and then just gave it up in spades like nothing. Um, and I suspect 
the exact same thing's going to happen probably this week. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note, let's go take a look at the 10-year note out here. What do we have inside this 10-year note? Okay, so this is breaking down. 1.4 million. Let's see what we're into here. Okay, so you get a contraction of volume. You're breaking 2.1 million, but you don't have that. This price is not holding. So the very low is 110.27. We've hit 111.10. And we get into the 30 year. Thirty year, three hundred and forty seven thousand contracts. You broke one twenty five oh eight. You went to one twenty five oh nine. You're laying. You're laying at one twenty five oh eight. Yeah, this this can go lower. That's the bottom line. Some of the higher volume equities that we have over here. Let's take a look at it. This this market bottom line refuses to back down. I can tell you that. Um, the Tesla up a buck and a half. We have uh, Carnival up at 38 cents. Well, let's go inside uh, the NDX first. So we have Mercado Libre up 3.7%. Uh, Facebook Meta up 3.3. AstraZeneca up 2.9. Taken away from it. Uh, what is that? On, on semi. On semi down 3.7. Clack is off 3. Uh, Lamb Research stuff three and Intel's off two point uh, five. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point wise here, let's see what we got. It looks like Boeing's going to be the leader out here. Boeing's putting seventeen positive points. You get uh, Salesforce putting seventeen. Visa putting eleven. Taken away from it. United Health forty minus forty three. Goldman minus forty four. Nike minus uh, what is that? Minus sixteen. Inside the financials, so let's go take a look at J.P. Morgan, J.P. Morgan. Okay, huh? That has, okay, so what J.P. Morgan did, jumped over its highs last couple days, and this is what you didn't want to see if you're in the financials. We know, you know, it was a half day and all this, but bottom line is even if I double up the volume, it's not a good sign. This has to get back over the uh, 143 Oh, actually, hold it. No, it's still over it. Yeah, it's teetering. 143.34, and it's over it. It's over it by a point, uh, just over a point. So it is teetering up there, but it's still over it. We go to take a look at Apple. Let's see what we're doing, dealing with Apple out here. Okay, so Apple's backing down with light volume. You know, bottom line is doing 34 million, and you're coming into 46, you know. What, you, what we will see is this. You're going to see a big acceleration on trading volume more than likely tomorrow. That's how this thing shakes out because the way that the, the fourth fell on, it was, you know, yesterday. So, you know, you have, you have people still coming back from vacation, including moi. <laughs> I literally just jumped out of the car. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, down 103. Get the NASDAQ off uh, six and a half. s and P's are off four and a half. And if we go into, let's go into the gold market a bit here and take a look at it. We do, go start with the GDX. You take a look at the GDX. So we're down with 15 million shares. They're coming into 30, yeah, 20. Uh, you want to see a rejection of a lower price, though. The bottom line is we don't have that just yet. But my take is the GDX right now is on its way actually up to this 3370, 33, 32, So we'll see if we're going to get a little downdraft uh, in here tomorrow. You got Thursday, Friday. Yeah, I see what's happening here. Okay. So then let's go to the XAU. Because if you see, if you look at the, yeah, we we'll look at the Gold Bugs Index as well as the, XAU, and when you take a look at this, what you're going to see, put this up. You know, we rejected lower price. They had tremendously light of volume. This is on the HUI. So the HUI, we got down to that 239.56. No, 231, I think it is. No, 229. We hit 224, we're at 231, you rejected it with tremendously light of volume. I'm talking about 11 million versus 137. So this is going to build cause now to get to the next swing point. Your next swing point up there is that 251 area. If we go take a look at the, that's the, that's the Gold Bugs Index, the HUI set up same way, same type of volume characteristic also. In this particular case, we dealt with the lower one. So that, so th now this gets interesting. So what we've done is this. The XAU folks, okay, went lower than the HUI. When you normally see that happening, which, what that means is that the gold contract is actually going to move further and the HUI is going to move further, which is a positive for gold period, okay? Because the difference with the XAU is that the XAU 
bottom line is that they can hedge more than two years of product, of mining product, okay? Um, and, you know, yeah, it's still rejected lower price by a big number, 40, uh, 17 million versus 45. But the thing that we want to wrap your head around is that the gold bugs index, when that is stronger than the XAU, you're going to see the equities, the gold equities, move much faster. And you're also going to see that the gold contract is actually going to be on the way going higher. We're going to take a look at the oil market out here. Doesn't look like that S&P wants to move either. That's interesting. If I still got the, it hasn't moved at all, has it? I got the right one up. Yeah, minus 350. Okay. So we take a look at oil. Oil's done 420,000 contracts. Now that's good contract volume out here today. So that's saying that it is going to go to the top of its range. And the top of the range is approximately 7347. And if we go to the XLE, we take a look at the XLE and see what's happening there. Yeah. This ain't bad. Okay, so you're going to get some back and forth here. Now, this is also saying, now this is where this gets intriguing. Oil, we have plenty of oil. That's the bottom line. That's why the, you know, the Middle East is going out of their minds because they, of course, they want something other than, you know, the $65, $70 a price that they have right now. That being said, this is looking to me that it's actually going to probably try to get through this downdraft. Uh, this is the XLE now. This is the equities themselves that was set up at 83 to 79. The reason I'm saying that, but so I suspect what's going to happen, it's going to be the dollar. You got to remember something that when the dollar starts going south, all commodities will start going north. They're priced in dollars. It's real simple math, man. That's the bottom line, okay? That you know, if you have a different currency and, you know, we think that the commodity is actually more expensive, it's actually less expensive because as the dollar goes down, it takes, you know, less of whatever currency that the countries are dealing with in order to buy the U.S. dollars. That's, that's how it shakes out, man. You know, and it, it's kind of just like inflation, meaning the aspect of when market-wise what we can be looking at here is that market-wise what's happening is that it keeps you saying, how do you keep getting higher numbers, higher numbers, when in fact the PEs are high, the inflation is still out here, the interest rate structure is high. Well, what happens is that in inflation, higher numbers come, man. That's, that's the bottom line. They come and they're here. And they, you know, they, they come through as numbers. That's what, and it's how much you can buy with what we have. You know, like in all the correlation there, you can just go back. What could you buy for a hundred bucks five years ago? And what you can buy now? What's a five dollar bill worth? It's not worth it what it was five years ago. That's for sure. A twenty dollar bill is more like a ten dollar bill. You know, a hundred dollar bill. You know, who knows what that's like? And you know, it's so intriguing too, folks. Okay, is that because everything has got so digital, it gets even more bizarre because I suspect people really don't understand how much they're actually spending because it's digital. You know, I, I guess if you started off at digital, you, you, well, maybe you pay attention, but you know, that's that whole thing when you, when you go and you do digital and do the credit card deal, you know, bottom line is that if you plan on paying it off every month, I'd say that your probability is much higher. You understand what you're paying. If you're just spending money, okay. Um, yeah, then your probability is not that great that you actually uh, are paying attention to it, period. You'll, you'll go until that thing is broken. You know. Let's go to the TLT and take a look at the 20-year plus. So the 20-year plus right now bond, that's coming into 25 million with 19. See, this is still holding, but it hasn't held price. It is holding, but it hasn't held price. We're breaking a swing today at 178. We hit 174, but we're 189 now. Now, I'd like to see it a lot higher than that. That's the bottom line. You know, it's a, it's, 
It went down and tested it, but when you're that close to the low, it's like, okay, but are you going to actually try to get into this uh, swing low, which would be 100? Is it 100? Yeah, it's 100. And right now you're at 100.89. It's possible. It's possible. That's the real bottom line. Don't forget about our Tiger Dollar sale, folks. Uh, we're closing it up. This, is, this went fast, man. That's the bottom line. This whole uh, vacation because of the fact that we're on a... Uh, you know, the, the Tuesday. So if you come over to our website at TFNN, what you're going to see right on the front page is our Tiger Dollar Sale. You get a few more days to take advantage of it. And the way the Tiger Dollar Sale works is that you can get up to a 40% bonus. The way it works, you can buy $500 worth of Tiger Dollars, you get $600, which is a 20% bonus. You, get, you buy $1,000 and get $1,300, which is a 30% bonus. Uh, the max is 1500 and you get a $600 bonus of 40%. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. Come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is right now uh, down to 102. You get the NASDAQ up two. SP is uh, down three and a half. And New York, man, New York's getting hit pretty heavy here. Now, this is going to be interesting here. The, where is this? New York? So they were getting a bunch of smog in there from the fires. But now what they're saying is that, uh, and the temperatures have been amazing, folks, okay? Uh, I believe, what was it? It was last week sometime that we, Earthwise, was not, it was the hottest temperature recorded by like a, a degree or something. We averaged it out throughout the world. But anyway, New York, what they're saying is that between fireworks and the heat, um, and the heat has been intense in Florida, too. There's no doubt about that. 
The difference is that when you're right next to the water, it's a little bit better. But those cities, man, those this is this is early for heat, man. I mean, July 5th, come on, man. That's you start getting into August. That's when you start uh, seeing some heavy, heavy. Uh, there it is, right here. Let me see this. Okay, so. New York's uh, city air quality dropped to unhealthy levels uh, this morning, Wednesday morning. Uh, this time it was fireworks and sizzling weather that are the main culprits. The conditions approved by 11 a.m. local time to reach moderate levels across the city, with parks of Brooklyn and Staten Island rated unhealthy for sensitive groups, according to the uh, Environmental Protection Agency. The temperature is forecast to reach 92 in Manhattan on Wednesday afternoon. That'll make it the hottest day of this year so far. Yeah. Well, we had, <laughs> yeah, we had 92, but we had a heat index of over 100. And the sun, no doubt, is pretty intense. These cities, you know, bottom line, when that cement gets hot, folks, okay, you know, it, I'm, listen, even in Boston, Boston in the summer, my take, Boston in the summer is actually worse than Florida, where, where, where we are anyway, because you always had to get on the Cape. You had to go somewhere, because um, once that cement gets heated up, man, I mean, it, it stays heated up. Let's go take a look at the uh, platinum market. So first, the July platinum contract, that's trading up eight, eight, $8.80 eight today. Yeah, this is coming off the lows, too. Now, this had to get back inside. It did today. It had to get back inside the 914 area, your 918. So if you go to the PPLT, this is a slow mover, but this, uh, this might be something you want to wrap your head around, okay? Because this correction has been quite a correction and for quite some time. That being said, what you, what you do have is that the, so the PPLT, 84.96. Yeah, it's inside the range too. And look at the volume today. It's picking up today, man. Yeah, this wants to go. So your next level here is, hey, it's 10 bucks. No, it's eight bucks. 84, we're at 84.96. The next level would be 92.14. Yeah. You know what is intriguing is that there's a, there's a number out here this morning, if you are in the metals market, and I, I think this is what uh, Tim Ward was relating to. One of the parts that he was relating to about the XAU, HUI, oh, no, the GDX, that when he was talking about those charts of the GDX and the price of gold, <coughs> what, let's, let's put this up for a second. So I'll put this up. So when you put the actual commodity price up versus where, let me bring this back a bit. I'll bring it back 10 years. So when we, when we take a look at where we were in 2022 and 2011, right? And that's what he's talking about, actually. No, 2020. When you take a look at it where the gold price actually is versus the equities, the equities are actually 20% to 30% under where they were trading up at that, that particular point. So, you know, when you take a look at a couple of these bigger equities, well, what's going to be intriguing there is that this is where even fund managers are going to be looking at that when they're strictly fundamentalists and say, okay, hold it. I will get into something like this because I think the risk versus the reward is there. Now, that's, that's the bull side of it. The bear side of it is this is where you hear this a lot on the, on the small caps, folks, is that you get into a value trap. And a value trap is that the, you, know, you, you take a, a P.E., and you know the bottom line is hey this thing is trading at a very low pe as to historical where it should be trading well what ends up happening is that guess what it's trading there for a reason because what would end up happening is that the market would correct itself meaning that the gold market would actually go even further lower and that of course brings the pe up higher without the equities getting hit as much you know so i just bring it up both sides of that my my point I wanted to bring that up. My take is that the gold and metal correction is over. I mean over, too. 
Um, if you go even take a look at the silver market, what you're going to see here, the silver contract, you know, that got into strength, rejected it. It's up, you know, 263 today. I mean, 26 cents today. You're at 2338. And once you get back inside the 2303, that says that you're going to start making the run for the 2484. And yes, you're going to have to build quite a bit of cars there to get through that, you know, to get in the higher level. The higher, you know, because when we came down, we came down high from 2590 to 2466. But my take is that, yeah, we're up at those, we're getting up at those levels. And those levels, the, it's going to be, that's going to be all about the dollar. The deal about the, uh, oh, the FedEx, the Fed, the FedEx, no, the Fed minutes. The Fed minutes came out at 2 o'clock today. And that's where the, you know, they had the downdraft and a whole ball of wax. So that was a unanimous decision. But inside the minutes, you know, there were plenty of participants that, uh, you know, thought that, hey, I'm not quite sure. Let's see. Almost all participants judge it appropriate or acceptable to maintain the target range for the Fed funds rate of 5 to 5.24. Some participants indicated that they favored raising the target range for the Fed funds 25 basis points of this meeting or that they could have supported such a proposal. So what's intriguing about that, of course, is that, you know, if you did have some of them, which, you know, we, we did have some of them, that's what we're saying. And then so the Fed, next Fed meeting is going to be calendar the 14th. Yeah, it's the, uh, no, 26th. It's the 26th. And there's still going to be a lot of information up before the 26th, okay? The, what did happen is that the manufacturing index, okay, went down and went down dramatically. So I think, we, I think we're good with the, the, basically the interest rate structure as we're at right now. We'll see. But uh, there's going to be a lot more information that comes comes out, but that manufacturing index, when it gets below 50, that's normally saying that, hey, you got a recession that's coming at you. I think it's at 46 or 45 right now. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading up 120, trading down 120, NASDAQ off seven, S&P's down five and a half. Stay right there, folks, come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Down just is down 116. NASDAQ off uh, four bucks. SP down four and a half. OR. Let's take a look at this. OR. Just O-R. I'm not sure what O-R is. O-R. What's that? I see, okay. I think looking for a mining stock. Nope, that's not it. O S I S K O. O S O S I S K O. Okay. Oh, I thought this was down big, but it's not. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So the low is 236. So this is a. Mineral Exploration Company. Let's see if it has any revenue. No, no revenue. Pure exploration. Okay, so your low is 236. Your high is 453. Maybe intraday this one time. Yeah, well, the CEO left, I guess. Let me see this. I'm not sure if we get the right stock. The TIG was saying the CEO left, but let's take a look at this anyway. Okay, so... Put this on a weekly. Well, it's still coming into. Yeah, it looks like this low is low from last week or yesterday wants to get tested again. That's 302. It's 310 today. Yeah, I wouldn't be buying this right now. So see what this. Yeah, what this doesn't have, let me pull this back more. This doesn't have a high volume high. Oh yeah, no, no, he said that. I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay, no, no, it that does. It does. 502. 502. Okay. Okay, so what you what you're dealing with is that this consolidation is just gonna test the bottom of this consolidation. You know, you want it to test it as fast as it can, man, because the rest of these gold and silvers are starting to move higher. In this particular case, you can see two weeks ago we came down at 72 million shares. I see. I thought this just happened. That's when it probably happened. So I came down at 72 million. You want that low tested, that 301 tested. Because what we do have, when it took out the swing, the swing had 98 million shares at 485. We got up there with 82. And we didn't, we took it out and we failed. But when you fail with 82 versus 98, it's pretty good, you know. Yeah, it came all the way back down to the lower end, rejected it, got back up, couldn't make it, but it'll, it'll end up getting up there again. Let's see if it can take it out. Um, what is going to be interesting, and that's why Meta is moving today, is that so Meta is coming out with threads. I think it might have started today, actually. 
and Threads is going to be a direct competitor to Twitter. The low is 88, the high is 298 for the last 12 months. Let's pull this back further. Yeah, so this is this is going after the next move is 328 or 295. All time high is 387. Um, but this this is going to be this. I'm sure Musk has some big is going to have some big competition here, because Meta is the one that on Instagram has Reels, and they are highly successful. Okay, now Threads. We'll see how this thing shakes out, but it's all always about advertising, folks. It's about advertising. So what ends up happening for something like Facebook, that's a lot easier because what ends up happening automatically is that every the larger companies that are already on Facebook or already on Instagram, they say, okay, this is working for us. Let's go into threads. For all the new players out here, it's like, hey man, let's go see how thread works. You know? So um what happened here, let's go look at Snap, because what ends up happening is that Reels, remember Snap? <laughs> let's see where Snap is. Now, Snap's not doing bad. It's at 1221. But what did happen is that Reels actually, oh, yes, this is going, Reels overtook Snap. And Snap used to trade at $83. And it's been bouncing around here from $9 to $12. You know, so let me see. Number wise, yeah. See, they're still they they're saying they're still going to lose money going out to 2024 in the third quarter, and they're still grossing a good number. They're grossing 4.5 billion, but that's actually 100 million less than last year. And then they think it's going to get higher, but bottom line is that. Thinking going going forward like that, Reels has taken Snap to the cleanest. I mean, in a monster way. There's no doubt about that. So we'll see what ends up happening between. Uh, let's go to Tesla. Okay, so that's trading 283. The low for the is 301. The high is 314. July 19th, that's when they're coming out with numbers. And let's see what they're looking for. Okay, they're looking for 24 billion and 81 cents. They're growing by 22% in the United States. No, no, that's 18% a year in the United States. Huge numbers, man. And what does happen is no doubt let me pull this back a little bit, is that when you look at Tesla, you know, particularly after, you know, you have the whole AI run and all of this, it's like, yeah, Tesla's going for the top of this, this range here, which is 316, 314. And let's see the shot interest. Shot interest is 3.5. The thing that's intriguing about Tesla, because of the AI and all that, you know that, I mean, remember so many years ago, People buying Tesla, they're buying it. It's a software company. Well, we know what's happened, okay? The bottom line is that, yes, everything's going to be a software company. Everything's going to be AI. So in Tesla's case is that, yeah, they have the automobile. They have the cloud. They have the AI because the AI, AI is driving the machines. They have the battery plants, okay? Um, they just made the first deal with the other legacy automobile, you know, brands, they get quite a bit going. They have the battery, but I think I said, they have quite a few things going for them um, inside that one company as to when you kind of put it together and then look forward where that whole business is going. And the first part of that, of course, was that the other automobile companies had to do business because of the giga plants. And you can all, when you're the first mover in something that big, I don't know how they're going to catch up, actually. Do you know what I mean? We'll see. But there's, there's good, we're, we're talking about a longer-term deal, but um, someone's going to have to come up, meaning these other companies with some monster plants and or mines, that they have the material. 
Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow down 110, NASDAQ off 6, S&P's off 4.5. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 120, NASDAQ off 12, S&P's off 5.5. So this will get interesting. So watch this for, the, for tomorrow morning, folks. This is where you can might get a present from the trading gods here. So what we didn't do is that we haven't hit that high volume low, right? So when that happens, what you like to see, what I like to see <laughs> is, you know, overnight, the futures trade overnight, we are going to see that hit. And depending where it opens, you know, or where it's hit, you know, bottom line, you can either buy or sell it. Hits with more volume, you get a lower low, guess what? That's saying we're going to go lower. Rejects it, comes in with light volume, guess what? That just means game is on and you're still going higher. We go to the NQs, we take a look at the NQs. Same setup in the NQs. So the NQs is sitting on, that's a high, that's, that's, that's a high volume low. 11,000 11, contracts. More than likely that, you know, we'll see what happens overnight, but more than likely that's going to get hit. It's not that far away from it, actually. We'll get, uh, what are we talking about? Uh, three, yeah, 324. You know, so you're talking about uh, 34 points. And 34 points inside the NASDAQ is like a, a blink. And if we go to the, let's go to the SMHs, because uh, what you did have out here today, and that was with the, putting a little uh, heat on the NDX, 
Those are down 284. They're coming into 6.4 million, but they only get 4.5. You know? So if we go back to just the dailies for a second, and we take a look at the dailies, you can see that you really have a sideways move. You know, bottom line, yeah, you get the spy down, 47 cents, but that's a sideways move, man. It's, it's, it's not, but that's still saying that, guess what? This market is shaking everything off, including the Fed minutes. You know, bottom line, shaking the Fed minutes off itself, folks, was quite a bit out here today. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Don't forget about the Tiger Dollars, folks. Sales over in a couple days. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Building wealth.